All right, so we are factoring, okay? Remember when we factor, we always ask ourselves first, is there a GCF? And then after that, I can continue into factoring. And what I always look for when I'm factoring is, does A equal one? Does this number out in front of X squared equal one? Or if A equals more than one, right, then we have like a different process. But in this case, what I want you to observe is that every single one of these problems all the way through has an x squared out in front and so we have no gcfs on this page and we are all just factoring with a equals one which means i need two numbers that multiply to this and add to this right and if you remember let's do this one and then we'll multiply so we can remember why this works so what are two numbers that multiply to 40 and add to 13 so when i'm thinking of two numbers that multiply to 40 i might think of um, 4 times 10 first but 4 plus 10 is 14 not 13 so let's see another pair of numbers that multiplies to 40 would be 8 times 5 and 8 plus 5 is 13 so this is x plus 5 x plus 8, okay? And notice these are both positive, everything's positive, and this is my answer. And just a reminder about why this works, right? x times x is x squared, x times 8 is plus 8x, plus 5x, and then plus 40, and notice, right, then I would combine my like terms, and so that's why it's always these two numbers multiply to this, and then when I add them, I get this, all right? So now, I need two numbers that multiply to negative 55 and add to negative 6, so right away when I think, oh, I need two numbers that multiply to a negative, I know that's going to be one positive and one negative. And so when I add my positive and negative, that means I need two numbers that multiply to 55, and when I subtract them, I get 6. And for me, whenever I see a number like this, 55 or 44 or 33, right, any of these numbers, I think, oh, that's 11. So 11 and 5 multiply to 55. And let's see, do they subtract to 6? Yeah, they do. So I'm going to use 11 and 5. And I want them to add to a negative number. So I want that when I add them, I have more positives than negatives. So I'm gonna take my larger number and make it negative. Okay, had this been plus six, I would have taken my larger number, 11, and made it positive. All right, last one. Here I need two numbers that multiply to positive 21 and add to negative 10. So what are two numbers that multiply to a positive and add to a negative? The only way that's possible is if my two numbers are negative and negative, because negative times negative is positive, and negative plus negative is negative. So now I'm trying to think of two numbers that multiply to 21 and add to 7. I'm sorry, add to 10. So those two numbers are 7 and 3. Negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. Negative 7 plus negative 3 is negative 10. And I'm done. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and try the rest of this page.